hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley, and this is a test talk talk video so on today's video i'm going to show you how to make use of telegram blog on your desktop or your pc so if you're making use of pc and you want to make use of the telegram blog um the first thing you need to do you need to have this desktop version of your telegram and if you don't have it yet go over to telegram.org telegram Go over to telegram.org. Or if you can't get the spelling right, just go ahead and search Telegram on your um, Google or your browser. So um, come over to this area. You are going to notice where it says um, desktop version. This, this right there, this is the PC version. So go ahead and download that for your device. So um, once you have that downloaded to your device, now um, the next thing you need to do is to um, go ahead and open the Telegram um, blog link, which is Telegraph or Tele. Let's type in Tele. Then gra, Telegra dot ph. So type in Telegra dot ph and then press enter on your keyboard and it's going to load up the Telegram um post or blog section where you will be able to make publish your post the first area you need to enter the title of the post so i'm going to add in so um, this is password and the next section is where you put in the author of that particular post so go ahead and add in your name and then on the on this next section is where you put in the post this is a bit different from the mobile section but on the mobile section you notice this icon right there the camera icon and this um code icon it actually positioned in the center or in line with the post but right now it's positioned on the left which is actually giving you a better feel or a better layout for you to make and publish your post so um once you're ready to start typing go ahead and type in So, um, so you notice it, I, I just finished typing in my word so I can hit enter to add more paragraph and then keep typing. But if for some reason I want to, um, add some styling to my test, all I need to do is to highlight that particular image. And when you highlight automatically, it displays this stuff. This is actually the, um, styling of your test. You can make it bold, italic. You can make the test bigger. You can increase the font or reduce the font if you click on this it reduces the font if you click on this it increases it and if you deselect it reduces it to the default size so click um double click and it brings you back to the default size medium large and then deselect or just make it bold if you want it to remain that same section or if you want it to be a quote tap click on this particular one and you notice it have actually formatted it to a quote so to open a new paragraph, all you need to do is to hit enter on your keyboard and it will enter to the next paragraph. Now, um, let me go ahead and add in a new, um, let me go ahead and add in a new word. So I'm going to go to a dummy post, which is actually Lorem, Lorem IP switch. So I'm going to go to dummy test and then copy out some dummy test and paste right there. So, um, wait for it. Now I'm going to highlight and copy all of this dummy test right there. I just want to show you, this is just for um, tutorial purpose, not anything special, right? Um, click on this area and then paste in the word now you notice the words has been pasted right there the words has been pasted right here and it's looking good and then the next thing if you want to actually add a link or make a link of an image let's say this is a link or a url to a particular link we want them to click on so i'm going to come right here and say so that i'm just adding this word but you know what let's use an existing word let's say this particular existing keyword right there is actually a lorem 
Lolem IP switch. So if you want to add a link, you notice this um, link icon right there. Go ahead and tap on it and then put the link or paste the link and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can notice it become underlined, which means it's actually a linked text. Now, the next thing we need to do actually, um, if you want to include a YouTube video, let me go ahead and open my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com. I'm opening the youtube.com and then, um, you know what? Let me go directly to my channel, which is TS Tech Talk. So I'm going to copy the link. I'm very sure of the link, but let me hit enter just to confirm. So to enter any link that is actually a YouTube video, it's going to actually um, automatically recognize it. And you know what? Let me go ahead and click on this code icon and then paste the link. Just because it's, um, a, it's, not, a, it's not a video, this is just a link to my um, YouTube URL. So it's just going to see that as a URL. But if it's actually a video, automatically it's going to um, give you a thumbnail preview of that particular video. So um, that is still loading. And now let me go ahead and open Facebook.com. Let me go ahead and copy a particular post from Facebook so that you guys will actually get um, to understand how this works properly well. Um, the internet is a bit slow, so it's taking a while to load. All right, it has loaded up. So I'm going to go over to any video right there. I don't think it's actually going to allow me to copy any video, but I'm going to try to see if there is an option to copy a video link. Let me click on the video because I don't think there is no option. After the YouTube updates, it, it, it actually difficult to copy a link but instead you can just open the video so i'm going to click on this share i'm going to click on that share and then um i'm going to copy the link all right writing's not so that i'm easy, going to copy this link Grammarly can help this sentence Close is this grammatical then this audio i'm going to mute I'm going to come right back here so to paste that particular link you notice this um arrow right there forward and backward arrow or greater than and less than arrow um click on it and it's going to tell you to copy paste a youtube video vimlo twitter link and then etc so i'm going to copy it and then hit enter now you notice it takes a while and it's going to load a preview of that particular youtube link and it will display right there once it has done loading so then the next thing guys if you want to upload an image you can click on this image icon right there and actually this also allows you to upload any media not just images not just photos you can actually upload any media click on it and select open and it's going to load up and display just on your timeline so once you're done making your post and editing everything just go ahead and click on publish once you click on publish, you notice it has been published, right? So all you need to do now is to highlight that particular um, post link, copy it, come over to your Telegram, click on anywhere you want to post it and then paste and then send it to the group. And it's going to display this way. So, um, but if the person is viewing it from a device or a mobile phone, they are actually going to be seeing um, view, um, instant view they are going to see instant view just below this area but for some desktop for desktop viewers they won't see instant view but once you click on it it opens you to a url and it displays the post for you to read so this is all i want to show you guys on how to publish post on your desktop version making use of telegram post so if this is helpful smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more video i'm going to see you guys on my next video stay safe and peace